Today we're talking about how to correctly fill paper, model and property releases. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Luca and I'm a stock photographer and videographer. I'm selling my photos and videos online on iStock and Getty Images and I'm also making these uh, videos about photography, stock photography, videography, camera gear. Uh, so uh, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. Uh, so in my previous video I was talking about releases. Uh, what are those, when we need them and also when we don't need them. So be sure to check that video first. Of course I'll link it up here and down in the description. Uh, and today I'll show you how to correctly fill the form, which fields are required and which are optional and which are good to fill despite they're not necessary. Uh, and in the next video of the series I'll talk about digital releases, so if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss that video. So no matter if you're using pen and paper or a mobile app, you need a new release for every shoot. Even if you're shooting the same model on Monday and then on Thursday you need two releases signed. Uh, one for Monday and one for Thursday. I talked about exceptions in my previous video, so if you haven't yet, uh, be sure to watch it. So uh, let's talk about these uh, paper versions of releases. These are standard iStock and Getty Images model and property releases, which you can download from the Getty Images contributor community website. And it's translated to 23 different languages at the moment. Uh, if you're uploading to different stock sites, maybe they won't accept releases in other languages, so be sure to check that first. But iStock and Getty are accepting releases in all languages. Okay, uh, let's go through the model release first and see what we have here. Uh, this text on the left here is pretty standard, I think it's almost the same also in the Easy Release app, so just go through it so you at least know what it is about. Then here on the bottom left corner we have a photographer, videographer and also shoot information. The first four fields are required here. So photographer full name, signature, date of signature and also shoot date. And this shoot date has to match the one on the image metadata, so be sure you have the right date set in your camera. Shoot country and region and shoot description are not necessary, so you don't have to fill them, but it's always helpful to confirm the scenarios the model agrees to. Uh, I always fill this section. Also, if you're shooting nude or partially nude models or models in lingerie, then a shoot description is required and it should mention nudity or partial nudity or whatever. Uh, let's move to models information section, which is this part over here. This area, visual reference of the model, is a place where you put your model's image. It's a necessary field and you don't need to print an image and attach it, you can simply copy paste an image from one of the images that you shot with that model. You can do that after the signatures and everything. This is just for the inspector to see who is who. Um, ok, almost all these fields are required except gender and ethnicity information which are optional. So full name of the model, date of birth, residence address, contact information. Uh, here you can actually fill either phone number or email or both, but one of them is required. Of course signature and date of signature and that's it. Even though gender and ethnicity fields are optional, it's always good to include that information as well. Especially ethnicity because when you're uploading a model release you can select ethnicity there and you should only select it if ethnicity information is supplied by the model here in this section. That info of course is searchable and some customers are searching for specific ethnicities so I would always include this field. If the model is a minor you need one of the parents to sign the release and also all this should be parents info, not models. And of course you need a parents name down here. And the last info is here on the bottom right, which is witness information. This is optional, but it's strongly recommended for your own protection. Uh, in the case of a lawsuit, this field can be very helpful, so you have someone who was there and can confirm that the model signed the release and agreed on everything. 
Uh, okay, a few more comments here. All signatures and dates on the release must be in ink. So it has to be signed with a pen. If you want, you can fill in all other info digitally in Photoshop, for example, but then you have to print the release and add dates and signatures with a pen. Otherwise your releases will be rejected. Also, let's talk about dates. So all three participants, so a photographer, model or parent and witness must sign the release on the same date. But the shoot date can be different from the signature date because it happens that you just forget about the releases on the shoot and the model signs the release a few days or even months after the shoot and that's totally fine. Okay, now uh, let's see how to fill property releases. Again, uh, standard text here on the left, just go through it so you know what the owner is signing. Then on the right there are fields that we need to fill. On the top there's a place where you can paste a photo of a property which is optional for properties. So it's not necessary but of course it's recommended. Then again we have a photographer, videographer and shoot information. Uh, same as before, name, signature, date of signature and shoot date are required fields and the shoot description field is optional. Then we have property information. Here in the description field you should describe what's being released. It can be a house, apartment, office, clothing store, museum or an artwork on the wall or mobile app. This area here, so address is required for houses, museums uh, and similar, but if you're filling a property release for a mobile app design or artwork on the wall, then you can skip these fields. Okay, uh, then we have ownership information. Uh, here you have to tick one of these three boxes, so if the owner is an individual, corporate owner or representative. If the owner is an individual, you write the name of the person here and for individuals, these next two fields, so corporation name and title are not relevant. But if the owner is not an individual, then you need to fill these two fields as well. So the name of corporation and what is the title of this person who is signing in that corporation. And then we have four fields that are required. Signature, date when it was signed and contact information of the person who is signing the release. And like on model release, there's also a witness area here, which again is optional, but strongly encouraged. And same as on model releases, signature dates must be the same. So um, now we covered paper releases and I hope everything's clear for now, but if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And if everything was clear until now and maybe helpful, hit that like button down below. If you want to learn more about stock photography, click on this playlist right here. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video where we'll talk about digital releases. Thanks again for being here and I will see you in my next video.